wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the normal probability calculator that's linked in some of the My Math Lab assignments that you'll complete for the 12.5 section. When you click on the link, you get a pop-up box. And that pop-up box will look something like this. This is the basic one that just sort of lets you play around with what the normal probability distribution looks like. The key thing here is first you need to click this link if you want to find the, the probability that a particular data value has within the normal distribution or uh, proportions or probabilities can be found by using this level here. The nice thing about using the probability calculator is you don't need to pre-calculate the z-score. You can simply enter the mean and standard deviation of your value and it will calculate the probability for you. If you want to use just a z-score, you just need to set the mean to zero and the standard deviation to one. That's what all z-scores have as their parameters. Again, a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And you can see here that approximately 97.5% of all values are less than a z-score of 1.96. Let's look at a different distribution. Let's look at the distribution of IQ scores. We want to know what percent of IQ scores are greater than 120. Well, IQ scores have a mean of 100, a standard deviation of 15, and we want to know what percent are greater than, so we go to the upper tail test, X is greater than, and we put in our key value of 120. And we see that only 9% of IQ scores are above 120. As you saw from the drop down list, you can do a greater than, a less than, or you could do between two values. You probably won't be doing this two-tailed uh, test very often because it sort of assumes that the mean is at zero. And it really only works for z-score calculations, which we're just going to use our basic mean and standard deviations instead of converting to z-scores. The other way you might use this calculator is to find a percentile or quantile. Remember that a percentile is the percent of the data that is below a certain value. And so using these same mean and standard deviation of IQ scores, we can choose to do a lower tail, which would give us the percent less than a particular percentage, an upper tail, or a two tail. Really what we want to do for percentile is always a lower tail because we want the percent less than that amount. So for example, I want to know uh, what uh, IQ score is uh, the 30th percentile. So I would put 30 in the box here, and I see that an IQ score of about 92 is the 30th percentile. Or if I needed to find the 75th percentile, the upper quartile, if you will, I get a score of about 110. And so by putting in either the percent into the percentile quantile programmer calculator, or adding the actual value and adjusting the mean and the standard deviation in the fine probability counter, I can quickly find these proportions and values that are required for this section.